To our future scientists, welcome to today's lesson on the musculoskeletal system. Did you know that you lose some of your bones as you grow older? You are born with 300 bones, but will only have 206 as an adult. Bones found in your skull grow together as you grow older. Now, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to do the following. You should be able to describe the musculoskeletal system, explain the function of the system, explain the importance of the components that are related to the musculoskeletal system, describe the main processes of which include contraction, the relaxation of muscles, and locomotion and movement. And lastly, you should be able to identify and explain the health issues related to the musculoskeletal system. As part of today's lesson, we are going to focus on five concepts. We are going to provide a description for the system, learn what the function of the system is, look at the components and their importance, look at the main processes that are involved in the musculoskeletal system, and lastly, we are going to look at the health issues that are related to the system. You should know that the nervous system is a complex network of nerve cells. Your nervous system detects, analyzes, and conveys information. It transmits and coordinates all the body's activities and allows the body to interact with the, its environment. Now, as part of our pre-knowledge, we are trying to see what other system could be related to the musculoskeletal system. So we have a question to test our knowledge. Which body system is responsible for controlling all the activities in the body? We should know that it is the nervous system. The nervous system is in charge or is responsible for controlling all the body activities. And question two, what term is given to activities that we can control and, and that take place in our bodies. So we basically have two types, those that we control and those that are mainly controlled by our nervous system. We know that those we control are called invol uh, voluntary, sorry, voluntary activities. And those that we cannot control are known as involuntary activities. For example, like breathing or the circulation of blood. In this lesson, we are also going to come across new terms. And we have the terms and the definitions. So we, have, we are going to look at what brittle means. We are going to look at the components that are related to the musculoskeletal system. And those include ligaments, tendons, cartilage. We are going to look at a process called locomotion. We are also going to look at another type of muscle. Uh, these are called the antagonistic muscle pair. We are going to look at what the word contract means, uh, what a joint is, and what muscles are with reference to the musculoskeletal system. Let us take a quick break and we will be back soon to continue with the lesson.